I'm Andy Pilgrim for Automobile Magazine, and today I'm in Bowling Green, Kentucky at the NCM Motorsports Park with a Honda Civic Type R, and I'm gonna be taking it on track. There's a lot of opinion about the design of the Honda Civic Type R. There's no doubt about it. It looks a little funky. It's a world touring car for the street. It's not the only one. GT3s have a wing. A Mercedes GTR has a wing. This has a wing, and it's functional. This car produces 66 pounds of downforce at 124 miles an hour, 200 kilometers an hour. Most cars like this, uh, you know, a touring car, a $30,000 car you might buy for the street, even a sporty one is producing one or 200 pounds of lift. This thing actually produces downforce, which is what makes it so good on the track. The engine in the Civic Type R is superb. 306 horsepower, 295 pounds-feet of torque, all going through the front wheels. They didn't make this thing a four-wheel drive vehicle. A lot of people thought it would be four-wheel drive to compete with the, the four-wheel drives like the Focus RS, like the WRX, but no, Honda said, you know what, we can figure this out. The dual-axis front suspension setup means you really don't feel any torque steer at all, and because the Type R is front-wheel drive, it saves a lot of weight, two or 300 pounds. It comes in at 3117. The power to weight ratio on this thing is just slightly worse than the Focus RS. But on the racetrack, everything that I've seen, the Focus RS is slightly slower because again, this thing handles so well and the downforce, a little bit of downforce that it has and this slippery nature makes it so quick on the track. It's just, it's just an amazing piece. The Type R has 13.8 inch rotors up front with four piston Brembo calipers and on the rear you've got a 12 inch with single piston calipers. The brakes on track are superb. I've been on two or three different tracks with this car so far and the brakes have never given me a problem, no fade whatsoever. One of the external pieces I really like about the Type R is the triple exhaust. We know that the exhaust, uh, the two outside ones are actually an exhaust. The middle one is really just a resonance tube to control some of the booming resonance that cars all have. When well, the Type R, they use that and it really looked good. I think it reminds me actually of the old Ferrari F40 a little bit. Honda designed the seats themselves. They hold you in well on track. They're extremely comfortable on long rides on the street. And the other thing with the interior red, if you don't like red, well, don't get a Honda Civic Type R, I suppose, because this is basically the only way it comes. Personally, I think it looks fine. As most enthusiasts know, Type R's only come with a stick shift and it is a superb gearbox, one of the best I've ever used. One of the most impressive things about the Type R is the amount of room it has in it. Obviously, the, the rear seats are folded forward at the moment. I'm in here, I can pretty much stretch out. Probably not gonna spend the weekend in here, but it has a lot of room. Around 42 cubic feet, that's more than some SUVs, believe it or not. So, other little Honda tricks. This, this is really cool. You think, well, what's that for then? Well, that, along with that, when you put this down, all your stuff is hidden. Everything's, everything's hidden, which is nice. It's just a nice touch. I mean, I'm sure somebody at Honda Development probably spent months doing that, or years even. If it was shiny, I think I'd, because I'm a bit of a nerd, I'd be probably be playing with it all day. But it's just a clever touch. And check this out. So, push the seat back. This front seat is good for me. I'm five feet 10. We go to lunch with, you know, a couple of the guys, tall guys, they get in the back and they go, wow, there's so much room in this thing. There really is. Four inches of room, seat belt, no problem. Get it in. It's really comfortable back here and plenty of room. So, having established that this might actually be, in a cartoon sense, the world's fastest front wheel drive SUV, of course, we need to take it on track. So, NCM Motorsports Park, let's go check it out. into the sinkhole at NCM Motorsports Park, Bowling Green, Kentucky, on a warm-up lap. We are not flat out yet. We've got to make sure we get good through the S's. For those uh, sort of auto nerds like myself, we are on the Continental Contact 6 tire, the OE tire that comes on the Type R. Out of 22, into 23. This is critical. We get a good exit out of 23, and we're coming up to start the lap. Push it all the way down here. Coming into the turn one, a braking area, and off we go. Watch the front of the car, it flips in there really, really nicely. Through the one A section, coming up to one B. Just don't want to go the wrong side of that curbing right there. I almost did, but I, I was pretty good. This turn two, you've got to make sure you hit your apex here because as soon as you get to the apex, you've got to be on the gas because you're flat all the way to turn five. 
I mean, this is a fast area of the track. You can't really call it a straightaway because it's not straight, but it is quick. And you, you've got to use a little line of sight, look at the vanishing point, make sure you late apex that turn right there, heading into the brake zone, a little tiny brake, turn it in, 104 entry, maintain the speed as much as I can, battling the push right there turn into six about it's a 120 degree turn it's actually a tough turn to get in i was carrying a lot of speed in there through seven maintain your speed through seven almost 70 in the apex is pretty good this turn has a long long entry a lot of people waste a lot of time in there you've got a trail break get off the trail break and rotate this is coming down through nine into ten slowest turn on the track make sure you get out to the outside rotate in make the apex and get on the power very, very important to stabilize the car, turning into deception, which is this right-hander. Turn it in, and you are now on the gas all the way to turn 15. 13 there, 14 isn't really a, t a corner, but you really have to late apex that air area there to aim you up over tabletop, down through 15, and stabilize it, turn it in, and you've got a vertical corner here. It drops away, and you're just battling push, battling push, battling push, it's a street car into 17, uphill a little bit, drops away on the entry, now it's dropping downhill into the entry to 18. Long, long right-hander here, 18 and 19 together, you just keep turning right. Over 19, drop into the sinkhole, turn left, use the hill for braking. Patience through here, you've got to be so patient through here. So long, long, long left turn, very, very disciplined technical corner, into 21. Coming into 22, got to get 22 right because you have to get 23 right. And about 89 miles an hour exit there. Flying down here, so just pedaling as hard as I can right now just to see if I can get a 220. And yeah, 220.79. That's actually the fastest time that we've had with a front wheel drive production car at the NCM Motorsports Park. Honda Civic Type R. Bit polarizing on the design side, we know that. But you know what? If you buy the car, you love it. You like red seats, and you like it looking like a world touring car. What else do you get? On the plus side, brakes, superb brakes. A gearbox, one of the best I've ever experienced in a, in a stick shift vehicle. And then the handling, phenomenal handling. And the engine, very, very quick. Over 300 horsepower, all through the front wheels. 31 odd hundred pounds. And then economical as well on top of that, 34 miles per gallon on some of the trips that we did with this thing. And then all for around $35,000. I have to tell you, Honda, job done.